that for those of, uh, those listening uh, who are not educated in, educated in the way of Hawkline, here is a potted biography. Uh, Hugh initially came to the attention of the music-loving contingent of the Welsh public as a presenter of S4C's music magazine TV show, Bandit. Uh, the show ran for a decade and provided emerging and established Welsh musical talent, uh, primarily but not exclusively those who perform in the Welsh language, a uh, television platform to demonstrate their skills to a wider audience. Uh, Hugh has since, in the last couple of years, though, really been establishing himself as a live and recording artist in his own right. Uh, with his eclectic project H Hawk Line, which has seen him collaborate with the likes of other artists from Cardiff, including Kate LeBon, amongst many others, he has become a real force uh, on the, the local music scene. Uh, Hugh has his finger in another musical pie, too, as he moonlights as live guitarist uh, uh, for fellow lovers of the psychedelic Islet. Uh, 2011 was a great year for H Hawk Line, with Hugh going off on tour with Griff Reese and releasing two well received records A uh, Cup of Salt. Uh, press of which uh, actually sold out, I believe I'm right in saying. Uh, yeah, correct. This feels like uh, this is your life, we're quite enjoying it. <laughs> yeah, my, uh, all apart from the red book, yeah. uh, which wouldn't work on radio. Uh, and also, uh, as well as A Cup of Salt, uh, marvellously titled uh, The Strange Uses of Oxgall, or Gaul, uh, where H. Orkline uh, expanded sonically uh, by recording as a full band, uh, though retaining plenty of the subversive, skitty elements of uh, the earlier release. So... Uh, what sort of music like lights H. Orkline's candle, as it were? I mean, uh, which mus- musicians do you most admire and perhaps inspire your own music, or is that such a such a, a bad question? So no, it's, a, it's uh, I guess it's kind of a difficult question because you sound it's such a vague thing. To, I hate it when you ask somebody, oh, what sort of music you're into, and they just yeah. say, I know, I like a bit of every, I, all people who do, you know, I just like a bit of everything. But I do genuinely like, I, you know, I collect records, so I buy. You know, I like collecting lots of old records. Um, I love stuff like uh, the United States of America, who were kind of a, a weird um, American psychedelic band at the end of the 60s who you know, used lots of crazy synths, and it's kind of really odd psychedelic music. Who I'm quite heavily inspired more modern-day bands like Broadcast and Stereolab, who I also really like. Oh, fantastic. Um, well, again, you've t- at, at times, I've got to be honest, you've quite bizarre uh, uh, <laughs> uh, parts to your first couple of records. I noticed on uh, when I was listening to um, Ox, mm. uh, there's a track on there called, I believe it's pronounced, uh, Giat. Yeah. Giat, yeah. correct. Um, uh, where it sounds, like you're, it sounds like you're entertaining a young child. Where does this sort of uh, strange element in, in, uh, embedded in between these songs. He's quite folky almost. Well, perhaps more on the first record, kind of a bit more. Yeah, um, I think it's... Um, anyway, I got an iPhone <laughs> and they've got really good mics on them and I just started recording everything then, kind of whenever I was somewhere. And it's so it sounds like a really pretentious thing, but like, you know, if we'd be somewhere and like I'd open a gate and it was like a particularly nice squeak on a gate, I'd Why? record it. And then it's really, I know it's, it's really stupid, but... So I've got, my phone has like hundreds of recordings of just, there's one on like, I went on holiday to San Francisco and um, I was in the park and these kids were having uh, baseball training and the kids were all just counting to 10 and then clapping every time they got to 10. And I thought, wow, that sounds really cool. So I recorded that. So because I love these recordings so much and if I didn't put them on the records then they would just be on my phone and nobody else would ever hear them. So I just thought, you know, screw it, I'll just, crowbar them onto the music somehow and stick them in between and you know I like that kind of creaky weird sound of things and it kind of started there and I don't know if there'll be any on the new record although I've got an amazing recording of a uh, my TV repair man coming over to the house uh, I can play it for you if you want Do you yeah want to hear it? yeah I would like to yeah uh, it's this guy he's called Die TV and uh, he <laughs> is this like an assumed moniker or uh, it's yeah he, he, <laughs> he, he came over and he um he fixed, he came over to fix my telly in the house. And then whilst he was there, so as you can see, going through my phone, there's literally, you know, I just record everything. I can record uh, for the benefit of the tape that there are, is a very long list of weird and wonderful things. So, <laughs> so here in the middle of the list, we have Die TV 1 and Die TV 2. So Die started talking to me and he was obviously a bit odd and he started singing out on the street and he had this amazing voice what about Tim Wales was he from uh, he was from uh, I think he was from just outside Neath okay Um, so he started (laughs) singing he had this great voice and then he um, once I heard him singing I was like oh I've got to get a recording so I started recording my phone and then 
just had a conversation with him and with my phone in the pocket so he didn't know I was recording <laughs> and then he started talking I was trying to get him to sing again and he was kind of he was being a bit coy and then he started talking about a band him being in a band when he was younger and then he came into my house and and, and this happened I'll have to skip it to the bit where it where he does it but it lasts about a minute but I promise it's worth I wrote some songs as well I wrote one song. Huh? Yeah. What? Yes, this is called. Which one now? I wrote the song. Oh, you wrote from the song? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Many, many years ago. Yeah. amazing I mean he's got a brilliant like he's got a great voice like oh yeah I'm, I'm not I'm not besmirching his no 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 <laughs> yeah brilliant and he, he was just kind of he was the nicest man he came over to fix the TV and he was there for he was only meant to be there I mean he had the job done in 20 minutes and, <laughs> and I think he, he stayed in the house with me for about three quarters of an hour and we just you know hung out and he was a really nice guy and he, um, so I'm con considering doing a, me and my friend Robin want to do a thing where we, because this thing lasts 18 minutes, where we just have this, because that happens right at the end, so you have like 12 minutes of me and him talking, and then when he starts singing this song, it that we'd, you away. Well, we'd, we'd start, we'd actually record us playing along, we'd oh. record the backing track of what he's singing. and You're going to make Die TV's dream I think a so. reality. I'm, if he's listening, I don't know if he listens to Express. So he's a one, he's a, a, a wonderful guy. We should know. try and find him in the Yellow Pages or something I, and get him into it. He needs to get a credit. So yeah, so... Oh, so. <laughs> that's fantastic. Well, thank you for very much for sharing that. That's right. for sharing that with us. You getting us into the uh, the mindset of what just goes uh, into the thinking of what goes onto an H.O. Climb record. I'd like now to uh, delve uh, back a little bit, if mm -hmm. you may, mm -hmm. and uh, I'd like uh, very much if you could play. You say you love me. Yeah, no problem. You say you love me, but you don't love yourself. So how can you say you love anyone else? You take a hold of me to show me what you do And I can see it in those eyes, you know it's true You talk, you talk, you're all talk Talking. And you're like the leaves that are left in my cup, you tell me nothing. You shout, you shout, paper chains bluster out your screaming. But no one.
Each time, the same words, but these days your lines don't rhyme. I look, but I see straight through. That magic thing that used to stick is just dry through. I'll pick it off and start anew. My slate is wiped clean from the time. Not spent with you. You say you love me, but you don't love yourself. So how can you say you love anyone else? You take a hold of me to show me what you do, and I can see it in those eyes. You know. Stirring stuff. Eight short climb with you say, you love me. Uh, welcome back, uh, Hugh. Thanks, um, Hugh. Yes, I have two questions remaining. Uh, okay. Now, one of which is <laughs> so yeah, it feels like it's about to get really intense. <laughs> yes. No. It's, I'm like Mr. Anderson, and yeah. you're. Uh, oh no, you're Mr. Anderson. You're Neo, Brilliant. and I'm Agent Smith okay. from the Matrix. No, it's not like that. <laughs> uh, one of which is pretty uh, silly, and the other one's pretty deep and okay. I, I'm, I'm gonna 